Hello people, I am Lewis Teagle and this is my presentation based on the story of Tracy Beaker. The gene for the story of Tracy Beaker, it has run for five seasons between 2002 to 2005. Um, these locations is where it was filmed and the years tells you when they were filmed. The whole franchise has two spin-offs called Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground later on in life. Um, and it's based on a children's novel by Jacqueline, Jacqueline Wilson back in 1991. The series and book is based on Tracy Beaker's point of view. Her mother has rarely ever been around for Tracy Beaker because she has to go into care since as a kid. But um, when she goes through into care where she used to be, um, sorry, I'm trying to get my words around. Sorry, <laughs> I think I just um, lost my plot. Um, they all, she also has the other kids living with them, and they nickname their caring home the dumping ground. My apologies for my te technical difficulties. Who are my favourite characters? It's a bit of a tricky one because I like all of the Tracy Beak characters, the residents and the staff. I had a few minutes thinking about it, but I decided to do a male and a female favourite character. And my favourite characters is Wolfie and Tracy Beaker. It's obviously a bit of an obvious choice, but she's really relatable to me of creativity, redundancy, um, anxiety and a few other reasons. The same thing as Wolfie. I like other characters such as like Chantal Wellard, I like Crash Daniels. And some other characters as well because they're very relatable to us, not only me, but to you, Reluca, you, Dorcas, all of us, if you watch the series. The main message, I was having a good thing, what is the main message? But it's based on opening yourself and being honest because if you didn't tell anyone about your opinions and how do you feel, and then, but, and then Crash wouldn't have his dad coming back and recalling up with him, or Chantal wouldn't become nicer to Jackie and the rest of the residents if they haven't been open with themselves. So it's a good thing to talk to people, and it's a really important life lesson. Why should I recommend the show? This show might be the most relatable show anyone could ever watch. It's like they cover every problem that we have, like family issues, romance, reality changes, death, loneliness, association, communication, and options. I think we are, I think we are like the Tracy Beat characters because we're a bit similar to them. So I would recommend it. And even if you're not the biggest fan of novels or even Tracy Beaker herself, go watch a few episodes or even just one or even go and see the movie because it did got a movie release back in 2004. Any questions from you, Lara? What do you think uh, of some of the messages that the show tries to give us? What do you mean by that? Like, is there anything the show is trying to teach us? Well, it teaches how not to bully others, which is one thing. It tells us how to be more respectful to other people with their own problems and their opinions and secrets. Um, it's just, it's a very relatable show because we got problems like the Tracy Beaker characters in the show. I really like some of the characters, especially like Crash Daniels where he, his father, abused him as a kid and that's how he went into the dumping ground and he gets all physical and angry because from his own dad. Any more questions? Huh? Um, I have one more. Go on then. I know that you said that one of the characters goes through a, a difficult time at home with his dad, did you say? Yeah. Is there anything that the show teaches us about how he can cope with that or how some of these children cope with some of the issues that well, Crush did show how he feels and he told one of the staff members that he wouldn't hurt people and he said to one of the staff members as well in the season 3 episode he doesn't want to be like his dad. 
That stuff never made Nathan, who used to be in the dumping ground, he says to him, you are not like your dad, you only hurt things, not people. And that is really sweet because he understands how Crash feels about between the dumping ground people and his own father. It especially been, it is especially shown in Crash and Trash, which is a season three episode, and it's shown why Crash gets so angry and physical with himself. And there's many other episodes as well, how the character has characteristics and personality and how they act and communicate to each other. I like Chantel Weller because it reminds me of someone, because I am autistic, I like sometimes compare people I know to like fictional characters in real life or in cartoons or whatever. That is how I regret not watching Tracy Beaker as a young child because I was a lot more autistic. But it's a really relatable show. It's like a soap, but it's done right rather than doing repetitive plots over and over again. But it does, it shows how each character just just interact with each other. I really recommend it. Any more questions? No? Veruca? No? Alright then. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Have a good day. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. You're welcome.